Donna believed in the badge. She wore the badge. She took pride in the badge. Sheriff Mike Cass sat in summer as he described the type of corporal Donna LeBlanc was. Sheriff says LeBlanc was not only heavily involved on the force, but was active in her children's lives. I guess just a smiling face. I mean, you, when you saw her, I mean, she went out the way to, to speak to you. I mean, she was involved in everything. The sheriff told me that Donna LeBlanc served on the force for 22 years, and today several sheriff deputies are riding around with this sticker in her honor. To be the only girl on the road, that that, that was a lot to them guys. I mean, they, I mean, that, just imagine that how quick things can change in your life and 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 your office. What's like the aura or the vibe that's, that's in the office today? Oh, it's, it's just, they're just heartbroken because of the fact that, you know, I mean, who would have ever dreamed it? Especially, you know, you're losing your life at your house on your day off. In honor of the fallen deputy, colleagues drape their badges with a black band. On the front door of the sheriff's office, a black ribbon. It's very upsetting. Uh, she's going to be very missed. Y'all eating here? Michael Broussard is a family friend and owner of a po' boy shop in town and says this is going to be a rough time for their family. Uh, very stern. She could be, she was a good cop. She's a very good cop, very fair cop. So. At the West Baton Rouge Courthouse, flags lowered at half staff, a tribute reserved in the most solemn of times. Corporal Donald Weems did a great job. Daniel Jackson, WBRZ News 2.